Hey guys, welcome to another episode of El Jefe's Shop Shop. So this week is part three of my little video series on how many cars can I buy. So we've just picked up the last of the cars for now. There's two more coming, but they'll be in a future episode. And then I invited a couple of mates around and we start pulling them apart. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so yesterday I finally got the last of the K20s. So this is a early model K20. It's quite rusty. Um, there's a fair bit of rust and repair, shall we call it. Um, fair bit of rust here as well. Someone obviously cared a little bit at some point. Um, the panels are actually not too bad. There's a bit of rust in the bottom of this one, but that's really common in guards. Um, this one's reasonably straight, the door, sorry. Uh, a little bit of rust in the bottom corner here again. The rear quarter is pretty knackered. The boot is pretty knackered. Uh, there's a few parts in there, a few parts in the back of the Hilux haven't gotten out yet. The rear trim section's not too bad, the apron's a bit bent. This guard's pushed in here and over here, but it's got a few of the nice chromes that are hard to get. And then moving on to the door, also pretty good. Uh, rust in the sill, but the door itself is pretty good. And then this guard is pretty good as well. So this one's going to be really good for parts uh, for the other two. And there's a whole bunch of parts in it as well. So this one's going to be stripped. And then if anyone wants body cuts, I'll do body cuts. Looks like someone's already done a body cut at some point. A bit dodgy. Uh, so this one's going to get cut up or sold as a shell. But I'll pull all the parts off. So that's the plan with this one. And then that'll support the other two. Well, the other three, I should say. So there's those three there, this one, and I guess that one as well. So between the five, I'm hoping to save two. So, see how we go. So let's get stuck into pulling this one apart. Alright, so it's Friday morning, 10 o'clock. I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. And I'm going to try and part some of these cars out. So we've got some of the mates coming over. I'm going to try and do a barbecue on Saturday, Sunday. And two of them are coming over today. So hopefully... You can get all of this one stripped, which is almost done anyway, and then get all the other ones that I want to strip, stripped. So this one I've spent about two or three hours on uh, throughout the week and got it to this stage. So this is the last one we picked up, the black one. Uh, got the doors off, the guards off, front end is out. Just got to do the steering column, which you can see in there, the pedals, the rest of the dash, and the diff and the fuel tank, and that's about it. A few little things, um, windows and the trims and stuff. So. Let's get stuck into it. All right, so it's 10 to 11. So I've been working on this for 50 minutes. Got the brake master out, the pedals out, steering column, all of the dash, all of that stuff, the heater box, all of this crap. So front's pretty much done. I've got to do the roof lining so I can get the visors and the mirror off. And then I've got these to take off, the fuel tank and the diff. And that's pretty much it. So it should be done with the next half hour, an hour.
Got the 55 running. What's that? So it's miserable weather today. We were pulling apart the 55 and got kind of sick of that immediately. So we made the other 55 run. So Luke put the radiator in that, hooked up the trans lines and hooked up the radiator lines. And then we filled it with trans fluid and that's sweet now. So that's pretty much done uh, mechanically. Just got to do wire up a fan and paint it and then I can drive it. And then we moved on to the 70, which we had running, but it kept dying. So if you poured fuel in the carby, it would run, but it wouldn't get fuel from the fuel pump. So I pulled the fuel pump off. That was all good. Uh, that was giving fuel to the carby. So we pulled the carby off and that seemed pretty knackered. So I found one off a 3K, um, blocked off all the emission stuff, checked and cleaned it and everything, put it in there and she fired up. So we're having trouble with it idling at the moment, um, but we just keep the revs up a little bit and it's fine. And now we've just got the compressor going and pumping the front tires up and then we're gonna try and drive around the backyard. So you gotta take your shoes off because they're a little bit muddy. Come down the front tire. So pump the gas a couple times. So if you keep the revs up it keeps running, but if you let off it dies like that. So you're just gonna try to go around in a circle and then park next to the 55. It's just spinning. <laughs> Open diff. <laughs> Next to the fifty five. That other side is just frying. This side's not spinning at all.
Just creep forwards. Forward. Yeah. Just keep creeping and it should just pop out, hopefully. Or you'll drag the whole car. Punch it, see what yeah, go on. Yep, the car got a bit tired, so it's having a bit of a lie down. And then we're gonna move it in the backyard. He went the long way. Put it forward. I don't know. Should slide pretty easily. Or to dig in and do a backflip. It looks really unnatural. I like it. I'm about it. Give it a yank. Hey. Uh, stop. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this three part video series. Uh, just buying a whole bunch of cars and parting them out. So, I've still got heaps of stuff to do. Uh, I've got one more K30 to strip, so the red one that we just pulled in at the last video. And then we've got two more K30 55s coming. Uh, they're still at the wrecking yard. The guy hasn't dug them out. He's got like 50 cars in the way, so we'll see how we go. Um, but that's it for now. So, next week we'll be on the Seal and trying to get that engine back in and get it all plumbed up and see how far we can get. Thanks for watching. See you next week.